In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a POV video or point of view video. Um, I'll be demonstrating this in my car. Uh, I use this setup for many of the POV drives that I do on my YouTube channel. Now this video here will also work uh, whether you're doing something completely different than driving. Uh, let's say you're on a bike or let's just say you do point of view unboxing videos and that kind of thing. Uh, or if you're just running around, walking around, doing whatever. So we're gonna talk about the type of setup that I have, uh, what cameras I use, if I use any external microphones, and so on. So we're gonna jump inside my car here, and yes, I know it's dirty. It's a uh, Pennsylvania salty winner. You never win. I washed the car yesterday, it still looks completely horrible, but here we go. Okay, so what I use is a head strap mount from GoPro. Uh, it looks like this. And then what I've done is I've added some um, GoPro connection uh, thingies. I, <laughs> I don't even know what they're called, but whatever. So I've kind of built, uh, I have like two of them on there. And then you just screw them together like that. And what I choose to do is, I have my GoPro camera right here. I actually attach the GoPro upside down. Just screw that together like that. And then I bend it down like this. So what this uh, does, Besides making you look like a bit of an idiot, it actually puts the camera uh, lens and the angle more where your eyes are. Instead of putting the camera on upright. I'll show you the difference here. Now, you, if you put it on upright like this, you don't really need these extra uh, little connection things here. Uh, but anyhow, you put the camera on, but that actually makes the lens be too high up. So it's not a nat natural point of view because your eyes are not up here. So basically what you're seeing is the headliner of the car. Um, so it doesn't really give it a, a good view. Now on these GoPro Hero 4 Silvers, the mic is located, I'm gonna show you here, I'm using the frame uh, backpack. The mic of the GoPro is located right there, right by the start button. So when you use this technique where the camera is upside down, it actually puts the mic of the GoPro pretty close to your mouth. Now there's pros and cons with that. Depending on, on what sounds you're making while you're speaking, uh, you actually have very, very good audio, but also you can hear just simple breathing and that kind of thing so that that can be kind of annoying for the viewer they don't really want to hear you uh, sit and breathe so we're gonna try this with the audio of the GoPro Hero 4 Silver and then we're also gonna use an external mic that I use in many of my videos it is a Polar Pro GoPro microphone kit this is like a hundred dollars the head strap is about $20, the GoPro is about $400. You need to think about how quickly you're making your movements with your head. Because in a video, if you're moving your head as quickly as you usually do when you're just uh, looking at something, uh, talking to someone, uh, you don't really think about that. But in a video, that makes it for a very, very shaky experience for the viewer. So when you're moving your head, try to move it as slowly as possible. to make it a good viewer experience. So I'm gonna start the car up here. Now as you can see here, when I'm wearing the camera upside down like I am right now, it is pretty much sitting on my face, but I do have good visual, uh, even though I see the camera right in the middle here. 
Um, so it's not, I can't, I can't say that it's not safe because it is. I do, my peripheral is not blocked whatsoever, but it's right, just right here in the middle where it's a little blocked sight here. But as you can tell from the video, what you see is my hands on the steering wheel. You don't see the complete steering wheel unless I uh, bend my head over a little bit. Um, but versus having the camera upright, as I showed you, it gives a, a really good view and looks very, very natural for the viewer in a point of view setting. So I'm gonna take off here. Now, while you're driving around like this, you might get some uh, weird looks from people as they look into your uh, car, if you're doing it in a car like I am and they see you with this little uh, head strap and a weird thing hanging across your face, but <laughs> that's part of the fun. See if this guy notices me here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna stop right here on this parking lot here, and then we're gonna plug my Polar Pro mic in and see what that does for the audio. Turn the camera back on, and here we go. So you guys decide which audio is better. The actual GoPro mic or the Polar Pro mic. Now I have some stuff sliding around in the back seat here. So I know you heard that from um, before I plugged the mic in here versus having the mic in. I think uh, the Polar Pro mic won't really pick that noise up as well as the GoPro mic does. As you can tell here, if I'm moving my head around just to look around for traffic, it makes for a very shaky video. But when you're do making these POV videos, try to be, uh, try to take as much time as you can uh, when you're making turns and you have to look around. So you're moving your head slowly. Just makes for a better viewer experience. Now it's preferable to use an external mic if you're outside because the GoPro uh, internal mic is horrible when it comes to wind noise. So as you can tell, I'm speaking into the mic right now and it is kind of windy outside. So I'm actually gonna unplug the mic now. And as you can tell, this is the GoPro mic. So as long as it's not, as long as it's not heavy winds, uh, the mic works pretty well. And as I mentioned, this is a very uh, good camera angle to just do any kind of point of view video. So right here you see my messy trunk and you can use this setup to do kind of like unboxing videos in POV style. So let's say I want to open, close this, put my tripod back. Put that back. Still too big, but whatever. It works very, very well. Okay, so I'm gonna plug the Polar Pro mic back in here. And then I'm just gonna use this little clip right here. And attach it to my jacket. Then we'll jump back inside to the car here. Turn my other GoPro on. And then as you can see, there's like a big cord and stuff hanging here. But when you're doing this POV style, this isn't really 
viewable anyhow. So it doesn't really matter how it looks. It's not in the way for uh, my arms and the steering wheel. It's not a safety hazard or anything like that. So it works just fine. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Was it informative and helpful? And if it was, give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and start making your own point of view videos. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Okay, guys, so just real quick before we end the video, uh, I thought I'd share this with you in case someone was uh, wondering. Now this pretty much goes without saying that when you're filming and the camera is upside down, um, it'll end up being upside down. So like on my Mac here, I just rotate it. Oops, that was wrong. Edit. Rotate it right and then it turns uh, to the direction that I want so it's not upside down. Now on the Hero 5 that I have here, it does it automatically which is a nice feature but on this Hero 4 Silver that I'm using right now, you have to do it manually.